the host of Jeopardy, Alex Prevet. Do the talking. Crazy obstacle course, and in the process, win eight fabulous prizes. Harvey, how did you know that I went through school with gum on my nose? Well, after knowing you for the whole time we've done the show, Mark, I just sort of guessed. Yeah, you're yeah. probably right. That's absolutely true. We have a special week in store for you because we have celebrities on with our regular contestants. And starting off to my right, a team that calls themselves Hollywood and Vine. Say hello to Kristen and Jeremy Miller. <laughs> Now, Kristen is a cheerleader. How long have you been doing that? Um, well, this is going to be my third year. That's terrific. You like doing that a lot, I bet. Yeah. Yes. And, uh, Jeremy, Jeremy, you, you're on a, a terrific show, uh, Growing Pains, which everybody watches. How many people in our audience have seen Growing Pains? How many... And we want America to realize that you're just an ordinary kid, right? Have fun yes. when you're not uh, shooting. What kind of things do you like to do in your spare time? Well... I like to play guitar, I like to sing, ride my bike, and swim. You were in a band uh, recently uh, out in uh, Knott's Berry Farm, weren't you? Yeah, I did this. I did some singing with a couple bands. Would you like to cut a record someday? Oh, yeah. That'd be fun. That'd be great. All right, you folks have $20. Let's say hello to the opposing side. They call themselves the Wacky Weasels, Alex and Candace Cameron. <laughs> Hi, Alex, how are you? Oh, good. Tell me about these race cars that you build. Well, I just build them and I go out and race them. Hard to do that stuff? Yeah, I bet it is. And uh, Candace plays DJ on, uh, on Full House, and I'm sure we have a lot of Full House fans here as well, don't we? <laughs> You're a musician as well. What kind of instruments do you play? I play the piano. I've taken lessons for four years. Is that hard to, you know, discipline yourself on a daily basis to sit down and practice? Well, I... I stopped for a little while on the show, because uh -huh. the show, because I didn't have much time. But now, since we're down, I'm going to start back up again. Great. All right. Well, so. thanks for being here today. You'll win a lot of money, I'm sure, for uh, Alex. Here's how the game plays. I'm going to ask you a question, and if you don't know the answer or think the other team hasn't got a clue, you can dare them to answer it for double the dollars. But be careful, because they can always double dare you back for four times the amount. But then you either have to answer that question or take the physical challenge. Good luck to Alex and Candace, Kristen and Jeremy. First question of the day, worth $10. How many pieces of meat are in a Big Mac? It's worth 10 or you can dare them. Ten. Two, you're right. Absolutely right. Um, what animal is mascot of Australia's Qantas Airlines? Voila. That's right. Add another ten dollars. Great airline too. I've been on it. Went to Australia on that. Now, Jeremy, Candace stars on the show Full House, which you watch all the time, right? <laughs> yeah. Oh, sure. Okay. Now, in poker, what are the two hands that beat a Full House? Or you could dare them. Dare. Yeah. All right. Now worth twenty dollars. In poker, what are the two hands that beat a Full House? Dare. Yeah. All right. Double dare. Double dare. All right. Now worth forty. What uh, are the two hands that beat a full house, or you could take the physical challenge? Physical challenge. Four of a kind, 
and a straight flush. If you would have known that, I would have wondered why, actually. But let's step over here and do our first physical challenge with Krista and Jeremy. All right, Jeremy. I have a feeling this is bad. <laughs> What'd you say? I have a feeling I'm in trouble here. Oh, you can hear that, all right? Well, you go over there next to Rob, and you go over there next to Dave, and you're not in big trouble. Yes, there is uh, some sad music, and it's actually not a sad situation, because what I'm going to do is set up some cacti over here on the fence post. And over there we have beans. There's a bean theme in the show today. You will find out even when we get to the obstacle course. I will set up eight cacti over here. And over there you have some ammunition. And your ammunition just happens to be beans. When I say, on your mark, it said go, draw your pistols, which happen to be spoons, and start flicking those beans in this direction. And what you have to do is knock down all eight cacti in, I believe it's 15 seconds. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, one more. And if you do that together, you will get 40 additional dollars. Otherwise, it goes to the other side. We'll have a tie game. I'm going to step back over here. On your mark. Get set. Draw! <laughs> Welcome back. It's still round one on Double Dare, and Kristen and Jeremy attempted to knock off some cacti with some beans, and were very close, but not close enough. So the $40 went to the Wacky Weasels. They are in control, and they have a $10 question. Historically, who was credited with saying, Eureka, I found it? Was it Archimedes, Aristotle, or Harry Hoover? <laughs> Dare. Now we're at 20. Historically, who is credited with saying, Eureka, I found it? Is it Archimedes, Aristotle, or Harry Hoover? Double, Double dare. Worth 40. Was it A, B, or C? Or are you going to take the physical challenge? Physical challenge. challenge. Actually, it was Archimedes. He's the one who said, Eureka, I found it. And I think I found a physical challenge right over here for Alex and Candace. <laughs> well, you ever play miniature golf? Yeah. How about you in Los Angeles? You ever do that? Yep. Well, good. We're going to do a uh, double dare version of that. Step right over here because I need a golfer and I need a caddy. Who would like to be the golfer? Come over here. Don't be afraid. What do you want to do? I'll golf. You'll golf. Then you come over here and you be the caddy because what you need to do is stand right behind this area where the balls are. And I will say on your mark, it's set, go. And you place those balls down as he shoots them over in this direction. What they need to do is go up this ramp and into this donut. And if you get one in that donut in 20 seconds or less, 20, yes, you will get 40 additional dollars, okay? So you want to move quickly, but you want to be accurate as well. Let's see what happens. On your mark, get set, go! <laughs> $40 over on this side of the board and let's step back and play some more. Money swapping places on physical challenges today and Hollywood and Vine back in control with Kristen and Jeremy. If the monkeys had dinner at the Munsters, how many places would need to be set? Would bring you to 90 or you could dare them. Dare. All right, now worth 20. If the monkeys had dinner at the Munsters, how many places would need to be set? You could come up, come up to $60. Eight. Oh, you're one off. It's nine. It's four monkeys and five monsters. Put $20 over there. Hollywood and Vine up to $100. We know the four monkeys, and then it's Herman, Lily, Eddie, Grandpa, and Marilyn. Those are the monsters. Who was the famous owner of the Graceland Mansion in Tennessee? We'll bring you to 110. Yeah. Now worth 20. Alex, Candace, who was the famous owner of the Graceland Mansion in Tennessee? Yeah. Double there. Now worth 40. Who owned that place? Or you could take the physical challenge. Physical, physical challenge. challenge. Well... His name was Elvis. Okay, let's move over here. Elvis. Don't you remember Elvis? Uh, did you know that, Jeremy? Why that look on your face? Uh, uh yeah. Yes. Well, I tell you what. You know what I'd like to see you do? I'd like you to have a seat right over there in that chair, okay? Because what I want you to do is come right over here. What we have is a little physical challenge called Barber of Seville. 
And Jeremy's over there. He needs a shave and a haircut. Do we have anything to put on Jeremy? Of course, we need this wig to make him look really terrific. That is great, huh? All right, now, all you have to do when I say go is run over here and put that apron on. Make sure it stays on. If it falls off, that must, uh, it must stay on at all times. So you're going to have to go back and do it again. Over here, we have some shaving cream, but it's really whipped cream. Then we have some shampoo. And, of course, no shampoo would be complete without eggs, so we have an egg shampoo. So you run back and forth, do it one at a time. And on the last one, after you crack the egg in his hair, we would like you to rinse it off. And, uh, Dave, there's nothing in here currently. Why don't we put a nice liquid in there to make sure that uh, Jeremy gets rinsed off really nicely, all right? <laughs> Terrific. How are you feeling? Oh, God. <laughs> okay. You do need a haircut, but not this way. Well, we are going to see if they can do this in 20 seconds or less. On your mark. Get set. Go! Run away! We wanted to see him get rinsed off. How you feel? <laughs> Wet. Not even been poured on yet. Well, we put $40 over there. They have 80 They have 100 And what we have here is a very close game. We are going to come back and break this interesting uh, situation with a $40 toss-up. Money gets really big around here. We'll be back with everybody right after this. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Welcome in this round two on Double Dare. That means all the dollar values will be doubled. And when you hear this sound, that means the game is over. Celebrity Week here, and Jeremy Miller and Candace Cameron are down there ready to get wet. And how are they going to do that? Well, they have cups in their mouths. They each have lines. And we are trying to get this milk-like substance past the line by squeezing our automatic cows. First team to do that gets $40 and control of round two. Could be a change in uh, who gets the lead here. We'll find out in just a second. On your mark, get set, go! Squeeze that Get that off, and let's move back over here and play the game. Well, the uh, Wacky Weasels now have the lead. Are you all right, Jeremy? Yes. Slipping and sliding across America. Candace, how did that feel? Good. Good? <laughs> in a strange sort of way. Okay, you can take a big lead now on a $20 question in round two. In 1876, the United States hosted its first World's Fair in what city? Would bring you to 140, or you could dare them. New York? Ah, oh, that's incorrect. It's Philadelphia, right here in Philadelphia. No dare at stake, no money changing place, but you could tie the game with this. According to the Guinness Book of World Records, the longest movie to ever premiere lasted 48 hours. What was the movie's title? Was it The Building of an Office? Was it the longest, mo most meaningless movie in the world? Or was it A Day in the Life of Marvin Hamlish? <laughs> yeah. Okay, it's now worth 40. According to the Guinness Book, the longest movie to ever premiere lasted 48 hours. Was it the building of an office, the longest, most meaningless movie in the world, or a day in the life of Marvin Hamlish, or you could double dare them back? Is the building of an office? Uh, the building of an office is incorrect. It's the longest, most meaningless movie in the world. Put $40 right over here. Kristen and Jeremy Miller have taken the lead by $20. Tell me, Hollywood and Vine, what comic strip character did Kathy Gus White create? Kathy. You are right. You have added $20, and you now have a comic strip. In 1863, what did the Emancipation Proclamation abolish? Yeah. Now worth $40. You could tie the game. In 1863, what did the Emancipation Proclamation abolish? Or you could double dare them back. Um, they got to vote for their, for their uh, taxes. No, it was slavery. That's what it abolished. We need to put $40 over here. Brings them up to $200. All right. Kristen and Jeremy now have an $80 lead, and they also are still in control. What are the two official languages of Canada? Well, you could dare them. French and English. Right again. You now have $220. You have a $100 lead. Okay. What are teal, mauve, and puce? Are they colors? Are they herbal teas, or are they the new Charlie's Angels? Colors. Colors. You are right. Add another 20. Up to 240 now. Hollywood and Vine doesn't want to give up control here in round two. 
Williamsport, Pennsylvania is home to what international sports competition for young people? Well, you could dare them. Yeah. They're now worth 40. Williamsport, Pennsylvania, not too far from here. It's home to what international sports competition for young people? Or you could double dare them back. Double dare. Worth 80. Well, it was the Little League World Series, and that sound means the end of the game. And Hollywood and Vine, Kristen and Jeremy have won today's game. Well, Kristen, let me tell you why that's special for you. Normally, we split the money with our uh, contestants, but because Jeremy makes all that big money in series television. Isn't that right, Jeremy? Sure, you get the full $240. You also get a trip to the Double Dare Obstacle Course. Alex, you get the full $120. Our congratulations for being here. Candace, we'll see you tomorrow. But uh, we'd like to find out, Harvey, what Alex gets to take home as well. Mark, today we'll get to the Atari 2600, the world's most popular video game system. There's so many great games to choose from. The 2600 isn't getting older, it's getting better. Games are $20 to $15. Plus the $100 station gift certificate. Where you are buying big orders, baby toy stores. Where you go to buy big toy stores, yours. You're a shopping mall, baby America's toy store. Plus, don't get the cold and cheap and cheap. With Sunday, 10, 2 sleeves, and powerhouse lanterns, 2 burners, so and 34 quart coolers. And it's from the Coleman Company. We're getting ready to run through today's messy obstacle course. Don't you go away. Welcome to the Double Dare Obstacle Course, where a team by the name of Hollywood and Vine, Kristen and Jeremy, have earned their way with $240 to the Double Dare Obstacle Course. Jeremy, can we do this in 60 seconds or less? Yes. How about you, Kristen? Yes. Okay, let's start off. Take a look at obstacle number one that Jeremy will be running. It's the one-ton human hamster wheel. Walk up that wall and turn that wheel. Light those lights. And as that boxing glove comes down, you grab the flag. And, Harvey, they'll win what? Well, our first time today was... Radio goes every Number two is Pickett, and uh, this is your job, Kristen. Get down on your knees and stick your hand up both these nostrils, and we have a little post-nasal drip right over here. Isn't that fun? There is also an orange flag up there, and your job is to find it. Your job is to pass it, and your job is to win this. Casio's PB1000 Advanced Pocket Computer with 8K through 40K RAM capacity. It has 58 scientific functions, 32 characters, 4 by line, and display, and it's from Casio. Jeremy, you watch the show often? Plenty. Oh, good. And ever wanted to go up the Sunday slide? Always. Well, today is your chance. Take a look. We have a stoplight in red, green, and yellow pudding. Don't get your feet in that. It'll slow you down. Up to the platform and down the twisty slide. And it says, stop and smell the flowers. Don't stop too long because that'll delay you. We want you to grab the flag, pass it to Kristen, and win this prize. You and your pet can have fun with Carousel Gumball with Ian Stan and Yummy Bubby Treats with the dog. Carousel Gumball and Yummy Bubby Treats are included. Alan Silverberg, our head writer, comes from Boston, and they nicknamed that Bean Town. And this is Bean Town right here. And uh, how do you feel about going inside that? Not too good. <laughs> I see. But tell us how you really feel, Kristen. Anyway, what you have to do is dive on through that, grab that flag, pass it over to Jeremy, and you'll win this. A new bike, Coyote All-Terrain Bicycle from Bicycle Corporation of America. A great bike with 10 speeds to take you anywhere, on road or off. Coyote America's bike. This one is called Lake Double Dare. Looks like a bathtub in Beverly Hills to me, but uh, here on Double Dare, it is a lake. What you have to do is either sit in there or dive in there and push your way with your hands across to the other side. Walk over here. Take a look. There's also some pennies in here. People have been making wishes. That's great. Before you jump out of that boat, grab that flag, pass that flag, win this prize. A $500 gift to go to find your choice, Where do you go to find your choice, Lord, here is Any questions? No. How about you? Nope. Okay, now you will pick up time, I promise, on number six. That is the suspension bridge. Hop up here and come all the way across. It's not as easy as it looks. When you come to this point is when you want to grab that flag. Hop off, pass it, and Harvey, what could they win now? Mark, how about Kawasho's 19-inch cable-ready color TV with frequency synthesizer tuning, infrared remote control of the 139 channels. Kawasho, a member of the Kawasaki group. We are over to the tank, and today we are filled up with nice, fresh, clean little pieces of styrofoam that you get to jump into feet first. It won't be clean in a minute, however, because you'll be all gacked up, and you'll gack up this area. Grab that flag before you come out, pass it, you'll pick time up, and you'll pick this up. Gold Star Electronics, VHS, video, the Battle of the Battle of the Battle of the Battle this is where you want to be with about eight seconds remaining because somewhere in this mess in buried treasure you will find a flag. If you can have that flag in your hand in 60 seconds or less, we have a great prize for you, Kristen Harvey. What is it? <laughs> 
You said you're scared. You can't be scared. This is the way the course looks. Hop in there, but don't get started just yet. Let's cheer them on, audience. They have 60 seconds. On your mark. Get set. Go, Jerry! Get there. That's it. Kristen won the Lasonic Boombox, the Casio, the Gumball Machines, and that bike. Along with the cash, it's a prize package worth almost $1,000 each. Nice day's work. Congratulations. Well, tell me from a first-hand point of view, how was it to go through the beans? Okay. Okay? Thanks for being with us. Jeremy will be back with us tomorrow. I'll be back tomorrow. You be with us, too. Thanks for being with us today here on Double Dare. Bye-bye. Promotional consideration provided by Reebok. Every contestant on Double Dare receives a free pair of Reebok sneakers. Reebok, the official shoe of Double Dare. And also by Casio. This collection of watches from Casio featuring the DW5200 G-Shock watch. This 200-meter water-resistant diver's watch is also shockproof, perfect for the great outdoors from Casio. And also by White's Electronics, White's Coin Master Metal Detector for hours of treasure hunting fun with Touch tuning to help you locate coins, jewelry, and precious metals from White's Electronics. This is your announcer, Harvey Sane. Join us back here next time for more messy fun right here on Double Dare. See ya.